we considered durga the me the name itself do means dukkham means uh, suffering durga that who removes that suffering is durga so in any society um, we desire for some phenomenal force that will be helpful when we are in a helpless situation let's say if it is a disease or a, um, a difficult through certain uh, things we are going through so there we have a belief that there is something phenomenal force there to support us so we see durga as a uh, representation of mother and you can it's not only in an idol we take this idol into our relationship our mother our respected uh, uh, ladies around us that uh, female force that always supportive for our growth and our help that is what uh, durga represent and having a temple there when people need these uh, solace they can come and pray and ask for that blessing by believing that and again um, in hindu philosophy all these idols are just a representation of the strength within you we have a strength within you to, within us to overcome the difficult situations so we are invoking that the idol behind in front of us is merely a mirror to reflect that strength within me is here in this form i would say one of the great social issue, issue whether it's recognized or not the mental uh, problems especially in the youngsters you know you have heard about these um, virginia tech events two times has happened and in those schools many schools are happening these kids are not getting that education you know the math science and all that it's it's required but more than that you want to know who you are what is the purpose of your life as a human being having that extra faculty called intellect in you you are different from an animal you are a great human being you can offer so much to this world especially you are born to this united states have a great power in this uh, in in this world around this world so having this stage here using this knowledge you can do so many things and main problem is this mental disturbance how you calm yourself through practice of yoga through practice of meditation through understanding the subtle aspects in the scriptures mentioned whether it is in the bible quran or in the bhagavad gita doesn't matter it's all underlying the basic principles are same it's all in a different way interpreted in a different time that is only the difference but if we can bring this into a mainstream level in an education even i would say to the school system that you know you have uh, in a in a week of one or two hours uh, to kids um, you know giving this kind of uh, knowledge because they are much more sharper than us what we think they can grasp this concept more easily you know we have this misconception and then no not knowing certain things they they don't know it's easy they don't have much misconception now so it's easy to deliver these messages to them and bring them and create a very strong uh, in a society